Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Works and Urban Development, the Honorable Philip Davis, led a senior government contingent to San Salvador this past Friday to sign a $2.8 million contract to improve and maintain roads on that island. At the onset, DPM Davis urged San Salvador leaders to view the project as a means to help to make things better for all residents. He then outlined the scope of the work, which is expected to begin later this month. There will be resurface, resurfacing and repairing of approximately five miles of road on the northeast portion of the island, reconstructing 1.6 miles of roadway extending from the airport to Coburn Town, installing drainage features such as culverts and deep disposable wells in areas that are prone to flooding, repairing hurricane damaged portions of the roadway, expanding the seawall protection along the western portion of the island, implementing a routine maintenance program for preserving quality and general life expectancy of the roadway, as I indicated earlier. Approximately 35 Bahamians will be employed on this project, many of whom are expected to be residents of San Salvador. The contract has been awarded to Simonets Enterprises. This is the second time the company is conducting a project on San Salvador. We appreciate the people of San Salvador. We appreciate you all welcoming us here. We are going to hire as many people as we could to work along with us on this job. We're here to work with San Salvador. Deputy Prime Minister Davis also announced that water lines for Long Bay and Sugarloaf are another component of the road project. However, necessary technical design elements for them have not yet been completed.